there are no grays, no middle ground. You're either all in or you're just out. Loyal on everything or not to be trusted on anything. Which could explain the president himself this week bashing Fox News yet again, urging his supporters to stop watching the channel to, quote, tweet, Fox isn't working for us anymore. Well, first of all, Mr. President, we don't work for you. I, I don't work for you. My job is to cover you, not fawn over you or rip you. Just report on you. I don't know where to begin here, but just to be clarifying here, uh, China isn't paying these these tariffs. So you are, you know, indirectly and sometimes directly. It's passed along to you through American distributors and their counterparts in the United States who buy the stuff from the Chinese and then have to pay these surcharges. It's not a right or left thing to me. This is wrong. A U.S. president on foreign soil talking to our biggest enemy or adversary or competitor. I, I don't know how we define them these days is essentially letting the guy get away with this and not even, you know, uh, offering a mild, a mild criticism. But it's not what you are omitting, Mr. President. It is what you keep stating and never correcting. Like when you said there was a serious voter fraud in New Hampshire. And there wasn't. Said the same about repeated claims of voter fraud in Virginia, and there weren't. Or that millions of illegals voted in the last election, but they didn't. Or the time you talked up your massive landslide in the Electoral College, even though three out of four presidents before you had bigger electoral vote landslides in their election.